Hey kid, you know how you go to an aquarium one day and you enjoy a beautiful afternoon and you see the fish and then an octopus follows you home and then it ruins your life? This is that story. It is one of my favorite books. Octavius the Octopus. Is this from your personal collection? You know it is. I have only the very best octopus books to share. Well, thank you for bringing it to us. Charlie and the Octopus. Poor Charlie. Already? Kid doesn't look too happy. Let's see what happens. Do, 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 do. Ooh, first what's happening is a lot of octopi. Charlie and the octopus. I mean, you've heard of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? Psh, that is so old. It's all about the Charlie and the octopus now. Charlie went to the aquarium. Yeah, it all starts okay, doesn't it? And he came home with an octopus. No, no, not that one. He already had that one. No, so, so that's not the problem octopus. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. See that? See that? Clues everywhere. Yes, that's the one. But it actually took a while for Charlie to notice. He didn't notice right away. Okay. Well, I guess if you walk around zen-like and closing your eyes and feeling the sun on your face that way and just being all cheerful, I guess you might miss that there's a giant octopus behind you. Just checking. Charlie did his homework. La 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 la. He practiced on the piano. Oh, everything's going well. Uh, he played a board game. And he had dinner with his family. And he was a lot hungrier than he thought. It's almost as if the food just disappeared off the plate. He got ready for bed. Let's see. Oh, he got his nightlight on and I see the real octopus is checking out the little baby toy octopus. That's very cute. And then, ah! That's when Charlie noticed something was different. What's wrong, Charlie? It's an octopus! Charlie's parents looked at him. They looked at the octopus, except they were looking at the wrong octopus. Da, da, da. They're looking at this one. See, eyes going up. Totally missing this guy right here on the side. Good night, Charlie. Oh, oh, mom does not look too pleased at all. And that was it. Charlie was done sleeping forever. Well, at least until he could figure out what to do about the octopus. The octopus, on the other hand, seemed quite cozy indeed. Hello. Uh, yeah, yeah, making new friends, cozying up at night. Well, he's got an octopus and, well, his fish now has an octopus. The next morning. Oh, good morning, everyone. Charlie dragged himself out of bed. Oh, and look at that. This octopus is handing Charlie his little baby toy octopus. That's so cute. Oh. Oh, what was that? His stomach grumbled. So did the octopuses. That gave Charlie an idea. So he's putting, showing out the cereal and he's putting the cereal on the ground. Oh, he's gonna try to like, maybe make a trail to get him to leave. But the octopus uh, was a rather picky eater. Octopuses can be a little picky. Everybody knows that. No, nope. So it went to find something else to eat. Let me try this and this and this and this and this and this. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. He's got all those eight arms to, to just go in there and open everything all at once. So this is going to be a problem. <gasps> Charlie, what have you done to the kitchen? So much for mom's resting mask. That's not going to be a soothing morning after all. It wasn't me. It was the octopus. Charlie's parents looked at him. They looked at the octopus. Except they were looking at the wrong octopus. Dun, dun, dun. Not again. 
Clean it up, Charlie. Ugh, poor mom. She's going to need more than a soothing mask to get through this morning now. And that is a mess. Ooh, bread everywhere. Cans open. All the cereals. Oof. You need to get the vacuum cleaner. So, and, and a new plan. So Charlie decided he needed a bath and so did the octopus. And that gave Charlie a new idea. I wonder what he's going to come up with this time. But wow, that kitchen, disaster. Charlie had the octopus right where he wanted him. There was no way his parents could miss it now. Or is there? Oh no! Somebody's going a little crazy with it. Oh, oh no! He accidentally knocked over the bubble bath, and now the bubble bath is going crazy because the water is still running, and and he's getting all bubbled up, and and nothing, and nothing is ever that simple. Nothing is ever that simple. Truer words were never written. And uh, Charlie, what have you done to the bathroom? It wasn't me. It was the octopus. Charlie's parents looked at him. They looked at the octopus. And just as before, they looked at the wrong octopus and they were not happy. I'm sorry, mom, but that mask will make you look fabulous. There's that. Charlie was tired of the octopus. Uh, I don't know why, though I would love to have an octopus, but maybe it would get tiring if he keeps making that kind of a mess. It had to go. But how? And that is when Charlie had a new idea. Maybe this one will work. Charlie found a box and wrote his best letters on it. To aquarium. No, that's not how it's spelled. Aquarium. No, that's not it. Aquarium. Nope. Just to say ocean. Good job. And then he put the octopus in the box. In there. Oh. That was a lot harder than he thought. Hi, Charlie. What's in the box? Wait, don't. Ah, splash. Oh no. The octopus inked the poor mailman. Charlie, what did you do to the mailman? It wasn't me, it was the octopus. Oh, please let them see the actual octopus this time. Charlie's parents looked at him. They looked at the octopus and this time they were looking at the right octopus. It's a real octopus. Oh, oh, we're sorry. We didn't believe you, Charlie. What do we do now? Don't worry. I have an idea. Uh, maybe the fourth idea will work. I'm sure. So, oh, let's see. Charlie took his fish, which I just decided to name Grover out of the bowl, put him in a bag, and now he's putting, is he gonna put the octopus in the bowl? Yes, he is. They're going back to the aquarium, and boom! Charlie waved goodbye to his new friend. Bye! He was glad that the octopus was back where it belonged. Oh, and he kept the toy too, which is adorable, but he promised to come back and visit it real soon, real soon. He just didn't know how soon that would be. Do you see his toy penguin? Do you see the other penguins? And on the page before, do you see where the penguins were all checking out Charlie? Heard about the octopus's adventure probably? And they all said, hey, how about we go out and get a little fresh air? And that was the tale of Charlie and the Octopus. Bravo! Is that for me? Yes, bravo! I love your selection. You really do have the best octopus books. Thank you. May I take it back home now? Oh, of course. Okay. Do you need a hand there, Octavius? No, no, I got it. Oh, oh, oh. And thank you for joining me on my Octavius the Octopus themed kid time story time.